Hello everyone, good morning. I welcome you to our morning devotional here at Manila Baptist Church. Trusting God of His goodness, His mercy, and His grace that we are experiencing from day to day. Join me please as I open in prayer. Let us pray. Loving and gracious Father, we thank you for this wonderful morning that once again we can come and have our morning devotional. May the purpose of this Lord God will touch and encourage our hearts to continue on with your word and responding to that Lord God because you are our faithful God and you are true to your word. May our hearts Lord God be blessed at this time in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Today's uh, short devotional is taken from the book of Psalm chapter 119 verse 91. Psalm 119 verse 91 it says, Your laws endure to this day for all things serve you. And we believe and we know that God's sovereign and unchanging word governs and maintains in all creation, even to us. Today's devotional is entitled, The Sovereignty of God. The Sovereignty of God. Last week had been a challenging week for, for us, especially to my family. That was Monday when we received the news that uh, my, my father-in-law got a stroke and he has to be rushed to the hospital Tuesday came and our son came home in in bad health and after that he was tested positive of COVID Wednesday came I received a news that uh, a mother of our church member passed away that morning the following day, Thursday, again, I received a phone call telling me that one of our members at Manila Baptist Church went home to be with the Lord. And so much uh, uh, stressful events that had happened to us. And sometimes we had to go back to the Word of God and find comfort and encouragement in such a time as this. In the Gospel of Luke, it tells the story of ten men with leprosy who were in need of a touch from Jesus. Leprosy was incurable during that time. They asked Jesus for a healing, and Jesus extended it to them. But out of the ten, only one returned to give him thanks. We read that one of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus, shouting, Praise God! He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. That is in Luke chapter 17, verse 15 to 16. Earlier, he had prayed loudly for a healing, and then he was loud with his praise. I love the fact that the original language uses two words from which get our English word megaphone. The man was loud in thanking Jesus for what he had done for him. The verse would tell us, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That was his shout. Praise God. And truly, it's worth praising God. As Christians, we should give thanks to God because we recognize that he is in control of all circumstances surrounding our lives even my experiences last week it is still god who is sovereign it is still god who is in control in all of this as proverbs chapter 16 verse 9 reminds us we can make our plans but the lord determines our steps proverbs 16 9 god is sovereign which means that God is able to do what He pleases with whomever He chooses, whenever He wishes. I'll say that again. God is sovereign, which means that God is able to do what He pleases with whom he ever, whomever He chooses, whenever He wishes. It is His will. It is His wish. And that pleases him in response we give him still glory honor praises and thanksgiving to whatever circumstance or circumstances that are happening in our lives 
ended, the prophet Jeremiah said, I know the Lord that our lives are not our own. We are not able to plan our own course. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 23. And we read in Proverbs chapter 20 verse 24, The Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? That is the sovereignty of God. But what about when bad things happen? Like the stressful events last week. Yes, and the Bible tells us that despite the bad things that happen, which many times are inexplicable, God can work all things together for good for those who love Him. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. As the psalmist wrote, everything serves His plans. Everything serves His purpose. It is still under His sovereign will. May God be glorified and be magnified in our lives. Good morning and God bless you all.